Good afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Interim operations of the EDSA busway start today. Let's check out the situation on the ground with Gerard de la Peña. He's reporting to us live from Quezon City. Gerard, how many buses have been deployed so far? Charles, there are a total of 550 buses that were authorized for the interim operations of busway along EDSA. But for now, bus operators committed to deploy 150 buses only. These buses fly the route between Monumento to Pitex and back via EDSA. For those coming from Monumento going down to Quezon Avenue, there are buses that drop off and take in passengers at designated stops at the curbside or at the outermost lane of EDSA. From there on, the buses take the median lane or the new bus lane up to Australia where they drop off and pick up passengers at the newly constructed bus stops under the MRT3. And from Australia, the buses may stop again at the curbside or the outermost lane until they reach PTEX. The initiative complements the existing bus augmentation program meant to service more passengers amid the quarantine. The DOTR says the new route was opened in order to provide a connection from Monumento or PTEX going to the MRT3. The new bus stops that are being used right now are those that have concrete barriers. According to the agency, they are still awaiting the delivery of 36,000 concrete barriers which are integral in securing the exclusive bus lane. The median bus lane cuts the travel time from Monumento to PTEX from two and a half hours to just 45 minutes to one hour. Charles, starting Thursday, to, that's tomorrow, July 2, the DOTR and the MMBA will start implementing a mini, uh, mini loop that will run from Timog Avenue to Santolan Road and back, and they will be using mini vans or mini buses. Charles. All right, here's hoping this and other traffic schemes actually improves traffic along EDSA. Thank you, Gerard de la Peña, reporting live from Quezon City. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. The Japanese government has offered a 23 billion peso loan package for the Philippines to support the emergency response to COVID-19 and other measures for social protection, relief, and economic recovery. The deal was signed by Foreign Affairs Secretary Ted Boy Loxin and Japanese Ambassador Haneda Koji. Over 150 OFWs in Saudi Arabia have died due to COVID-19. 20 of them have been buried in the kingdom with permission from their families. Labor Secretary Silvestre Bello vows to repatriate the remaining deceased by July 4. And Pag-asa warns that the Philippines may experience four tropical cyclones this month and up to 14 until December of this year. However, the agency notes that no weather disturbances are expected to develop over the next three to five days. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for in-depth analysis, and you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Just register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News. We